But yeah, like... I have gotten through that little nook, and trust me, it gets no better. You just need to, like, feather the hover enough that you can sneak between the spikes. But not too much or too little that you bump on either side of them. Most secure login name, admin. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna see if I can't, like, sneak through the gap. Because, like, after that one gap, it just gets no better. Because, like, there's an entire spike wall and a whole bunch of more spikes that you need to hover past. Oh, come on! Damn it, that's what I get for not feathering the hover enough. That's what I get for not uh, tapping left enough. God damn! <laughs> uh, I have a, I have a genuine problem. Like, I like hard games to the point that if I think that a game might be too easy, I actually go out of my way to make an additional challenge for myself. Case in point, I have played through the entirety of Rune Factory 3, actually, using, like, the uh, starting spear of the game. Actually, not, sorry, not the starting spear, just spears, only spears, and very little equipment. Let's see, I've also tried to blind Nuzlocke Pokemon White. And that was a mistake. Or rather, white too. Let's see if I can't find a couple more stages on, like, the, uh... The dick sword. There's another Kaizo planet, of course. Flying regalia. Kidnapped by pirates. Let's see if those work. Yep, they're on the list now. Cool. So, to start with... Flying Regalia. Two targets to find. Uh, <laughs> okay, wasn't expecting that. <laughs> uh... Totally first try. Definitely didn't fall. Absolutely not. Positively not. There was no pit there. What are you talking about? Definitely not a pit. That was your imagination. That was an aborted timeline. <laughs> uh, I had to say aborted timeline. Now I'm just reminded of BG Cats. But I aborted you from time. Eh, I got better. <laughs> uh, it's a classic. Is that it? Okay, I was about to be concerned, because that was a- WHAT THE HELL?! EXCUSE- <laughs> Right, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot for the brief spell because it's a rare instance when you end up finding it. <laughs> Enemies uh, can interact with stage elements, so sometimes you can have instances where those giant frogs decide, yeah, we're just gonna jump around, jump around, jump up, jump up, and get down. There's actually one stage where, like, uh, there was this. There's like a swinging platform, and one of the frogs could actually, could actually like glitch from the floor that was like right next to it up to that platform and just start swinging around. <laughs> Again, I'm going to reiterate for the umpteenth time. 
Shangmu Academy is a simulated a simulated freedom planet. It tries to emulate its en uh, to emulate original Freedom Planet's engine. That doesn't mean that it succeeds. And that it w does go out of its way to make some changes here and there. Case in point, Lilac's Hover actually, if you hold up, then actually it actually allows you to hover, as opposed to how it works in Freedom Planet One, where it's just like, oh hey, you use it. It's a glorified floaty double jump. It actually has some helicopter action. Things you regret. <laughs> what, does that make it like three in a single screen now? Things you regret saying for 600, it gives you helicopter action. This is some dedicated helicopter action. <laughs> Oh, man. I need to check my tongue. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a really nice remix. This is a really nice remix of Aqua Tunnel. Fuck. Oh, no! Thanks! <laughs> Oh, thank you. Just thank you. <laughs> this is a really nice level. Really chill, laid back, and nice. That I saw on the uh, specific mod page for that one, it's apparently still being, uh, re it's still being worked with, and a whole bunch of secrets are apparently being added to it, too. Yeah! Some of these are more than just glorified challenges. I think Pinwheel Panic was another one that I decided to download. Oh, you can't sit on the chair. Worst level ever. I'm surprised it took me this long to actually gimmick with it. Right, this was one thing that got changed. That, like, uh, got added to Shunmu Academy. Er, Architect. Wow, I'm just gonna be alternating between those two, huh? Enemies can hold key cards. And at that, hover. Hold up. You can actually hang in the air. Hold down, and you drop. That wasn't in the original Freedom Planet. Also, text tool. Make me. This is my hoose now. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> Oops! I, uh... I don't think there are any more key cards for me to snag. Excuse me? Well, this is awkward. Because I can't exactly get through the gate. Well then, <laughs> uh, it was fun raiding someone's house for once. Ow! Ow. 
Triple out. Ugh. And still need a key card. So to the left we go. It's really arrows. I couldn't figure that out by just exploring for a little bit. Oh, and yeah, camera pans exist in uh, this fan game. Whoop. I don't want to know what's at the bottom of that pit. One to go! So far, this ain't a bad level. I'll take that. Apparently, I need another key card. E. Okay, I need another three key cards. Another four key cards. Oh no. What, the uh, Kaizo Sonic ones, or. Is it Lose Tails or Else? You don't have to drop the name. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, let's see. Okay, that one doesn't work. So, all that's left then is... Everyone's favorite crowd pleaser and tank teaser. Kaizo Planet. <laughs> Words to regret saying for 800. Hmm, tank teaser. Yes, because everyone's tank deserves to be teased by spikes. Just go up in there and give it a pierce. <laughs> I need to check my tongue. <laughs> oh, shut up at the demo. Wow, that's really immature. That's really immature, and I honestly hope that creator gets, uh, unplatformed. Like, seriously, that's... an extreme that you really shouldn't go to. Some people... Oh, come on! No! That was such a good performance! For supposed Kaizo level, this isn't exactly Kaizo so much as a romp in the park. Either that, or I just have that much of a grip on Mila, which I highly doubt. Oh, come on! What was that? What was that? Whoop. Oh, really? Huh. <sighs> Good. Oh, you've got to be kidding. You 
you have got to be kidding me. I have to thread this needle? Oh, come on! I did it too! <laughs> I have to thread this needle? Easy. The spike. Is it the spikes afterward? Bruh. Rinse. Oh my god. I am pissed about that one. Like, that was such a good performance, and then I up and fuck it up. Whew! I even get to keep my hit point. Good. Oh! Hold it. Okay. Oh! Yeah, this supposed first Kaizo level, mind you, both these Kaizo levels are made by the same person, as the Rage, as they're going by. Not that bad! Like, this is... It looks intimidating, but this is a surprisingly fair challenge. Then again, maybe I'm just, like, uh, actually... Fuck. Maybe I'm actually fuck, yes. Actually decent at platformers. Once I've had my coffee. Fuck me! Please don't! Better the hover. Better the hover again. This fall... Ugh, good. That fall just puts me on so much edge. Good. Fuck. Uh, really? Almost. I'm actually disappointed. Good. Good. Frick. Okay. Made it a little further. Oh, that gives me so much noise. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> Moon Mila! <laughs> I want to go to the moon! Why wait? Some really finite hovering. Oh, right, that's also a thing that happens with this one. Hmm. I could totally do this. I wonder how long this level is. What? Pixel. A pixel difference? Really? Really? See how far I can get. I lost my hit point. Let alone hit points. Gav some refreshments. We can take this mushroom. But it's rotten! And now for the finite hover that will guarantee kill me. Called it. Almost! Almost got through it without getting nicked. Yeah, like, somehow this one is a fair and balanced challenge, somewhat. I mean, sure, there are no checkpoints. 
But at the same rate, not that hard to get through all this. It looks intimidating. But if you're aware of your jump heights, then it's not that bad. That part is a little annoying, specifically because of the fall. And I held cover too far. I, that's my fault. <sighs> don't exactly know the gaps in which I need to take for that one. Oh wow, that explains why that isn't going. Grab the innocent. Subdue the innocent. Really? You refuse me? You run away at 90%! You... I hate... DRPG Innocent System. 90% and... Uh, don't mind me, dude. Like, uh... I'm simultaneously running this guy RPG on, like, my phone next to me. And it's like, uh, oh, hey, you can, uh... You can run a dungeon to power up equipment, right? Imagine if, like, there were traits that you could unlock on equipment by essentially bribing the trait to stay on the equipment. 90% and a failure. Yep, item world. 90% and a failure. My luck with gacha games is just cursed. My luck with gacha games is just cursed. It's terrible. Like, I've gotten so many minimum pulls. And yet, I have to stick with the file I've got because I got a unit I actually- Because I got a couple of units I actually care about and there's no way in hell I'm rolling. Especially not after I've committed like, well, 12 days into it now. fun game. Hell, like, you actually uh, inspired my sister to pick up Disgaea 3 recently. <laughs> She's enjoying the hell out of it. Oh, original... Uh, sorry, the uh, remake Disgaea on PSP and D5. Pretty good. I want to try D5. But at the same right, like, D6 is apparently releasing sometime over the summer, so maybe I'll wait for that one. But yeah, like, my uh, sister, Rune of Night, is actually a very... She's hard into games that tell a good story, and more often than not, JRPGs. FF7 remake she re that she has really liked so far. She owns a lot of she owns a lot of games within the Tales of series. Also, a really nice uh, series of RPGs. Good. Yeah, all the additions that they made for that just feel really nice and work really well. And unfortunately, me being me, I don't really care for Final Fantasy, so... I haven't exactly touched it. DONE! FOOTBALL! Now back to the other one! Yeah, like... Don't get me wrong. Final Fantasy is a nice series. Some of the games are kind of crap. 
Yeah, Chocobo Mystery Dungeon? I want to play that one, because I happen to be a really big sucker for Cheer and the Wanderer and those types of games. Hell, like, uh, recently, uh, Steam Early Access had a... It released a game called, like, We Got the Gate or something like that. I want to try and buy it, because it looks really nice. Actually, come to think of it, like, uh... I know this is somewhat unrelated, but on DS at some point, a game called Fantasy Life came up. I I wanted to try that for the longest. I'm sorry, 3DS. I wanted to try it for the longest, but I could never seem to find a copy, and by the time that uh, I remembered it, 3DS lifespan kind of ended. Again, I happen to be a sucker for Rune Factory, so... Ugh. Yeah, honestly, it's fine. Yeah, I know that struggle now. I know that struggle now, what with YouTube and everything. Hell, actually, like, uh... I'm two weeks behind on Sage After Steps, specifically because... I haven't had a good chance to actually record anything. I have a couple ideas, but otherwise it's just uh, finding a good gap to actually do that. And since I've revealed uh, Project Remem, um, now suddenly my time is going to be a little... Uh, like, I have it as a deadline for right now that I want to finish the remaining two uh, card families by... June. The end of June, let's say. Because I want to at least update it, like, uh, bi-monthly. But yeah, it's like a really painful struggle. Because it's like, on the one hand, there's so many things you want to play. On the other hand, you got something you gotta make, and... Uh. But on the bright side, I, at least with, like, uh, the whole issue of playing stuff versus making stuff, at least I've got, like, a map check. I'm sorry, not a map check, what? What do you want to do? What's address? What's the... Ah, that, that's cool. Here's, a, here's hoping that uh, it turns out well for you. Actually, what comic is it? I've been meaning to, like, uh, read more web comics lately. Because, like, well, me being a somewhat of a writer, I consider myself a writer. I haven't released too much yet, but that might change in the future, because I do have something planned with the world that my card game takes place in. Well, actually, a few things planned. Oh. Damn it. But yeah, like, usually when I end up writing a whole bunch of stuff, so I pay attention to how other webcomics and whatnot handle their storylines, because sometimes it could be a really nice way to learn how to tell a story, or otherwise put a spin on tropes. Ow. And I heard the sounds of dicks or... Thanks for the link, Daniel. I'll try to check it out, like, uh... Past the end of stream, let's say. <sighs> eh, honestly, it's fine. It's nothing much to worry about. Wow, that actually looks really good. Ten-year project? Wow. Now I'm really interested. Original first draft, 2004. Redoing it in 2014. Okay. 
So technically it's older than 10 years. Like, actually I'd say 17, 20 years. Let's say 18 years, just for uh, propsarity. And that way we can also say that it's old enough to drive, but not old enough to drink. Hmm. God damn it. But yeah, like, usually when I end up writing things, I take inspiration from webcomics I end up reading. Because more often than not, sometimes webcomics aren't afraid to push the buttons and experiment. And at that, I'm going to admit full on, I'm terrible at writing, like, uh, certain types of scenes. So by researching other webcomics, I can see what works for other webcomics and try to put my own spin on it. This one is doable, it's just a matter of figuring it out. That was a bit bare bones. I'm glad that worked out. Good. I want to give this like 20 more attempts. Sounds like a large number. It's not. And if anything, I'd say that's fair and balanced for this stage. Oh, wait. Terrible pun time. The terrible pun slash joke time. I guess this was the difficulty spike that I wanted. And, evidently, I'm not exactly good at threading the needle. Maybe I'm not as uh, sharp as I thought I'd be. <laughs> My apologies to the cheap seats. <laughs> You're right in spit range. Because these puns are, uh, how should we put this, a thread away from being C-list. But again, I think you get the point already. This is a very hard stage. <laughs> to pre-picked... <laughs> Oh, come on, dude. That one is B-list. <laughs> that one is B-list. <laughs> you could have at least said that the uh, person who designed this stage is a prick. You could have gone so far as to call, him, to call them a son of a stitch. Let's see, how else can I absolutely ruin the stream with puns? Uh, fuck. I could call this stage a piece of crochet. Because, you know, crochet. I could also call it so so. And that'd be a double and that'd be a double joke with me, considering. <laughs> uh good. I held the jump button too hard. What was that voice crack? Hard! I feel like I'm choking so hard. I might just be tired at this point. Hungry. So you know what? While I'm doing these attempts here, just... Really? That one doesn't count. Just take care of my outro shtick. For those who drop by, Negative Primes, Daniel Rotwind, etc, etc. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the support I get with these streams. Tune in next week, Saturdays, from 9am to noon for random games. Essentially playing whatever I feel like it. Sometimes it's recommendations through uh, Twitter or Dixord by the tag Sage of Magi. Three things especially I end up putting toward the top of the list because it doesn't require resources. Oh no, what did you do? When someone oh knows, something bad happens. What did you do? Did you spill the coffee? Uncontrollable hyena screaming.
Did you spill the coffee? Found the vocals to a track in DDR Beat Mania. Is sample. <laughs> How about that? Not a bad deal, actually. Evidently, someone didn't exactly put that in a secure location, huh? CRG is known for being the go-to sample distributor for artists who worked on those games. Through random vocal clips. <sighs> Put your faith in it. Hmm. Damn it. Okay. That's fair. Thanks. Ow. Right, like, back to stupid abstract stuff. Yeah, it, it is. It's doable is the thing. Because I think in order to submit these levels, you need to clear them. Or at least, I don't know perfectly how the level editor works. I want mess with it in my spare time, maybe make something. But hey. I If it's working on, like, uh, Mega Maker or otherwise Mario Maker rules, you have to clear it first in order to be able to submit it. God damn it, I don't think I'll be getting up there anytime soon. <laughs> Yeah, I'm choking hard. <laughs> I think it's hunger at this rate. So yeah, Saturdays, 9am to noon, random games. Sundays, 6pm to 10pm. Currently, it's 6pm no, to 10pm, it's game clearing. Currently, it's Trials of Mana. If at any point you miss any of these streams, don't worry! They stay up on Twitch for a couple weeks, then get ported off to the YouTube channel Sage Blake into easier-to-digest chunks. Usually 30 to 45 minutes, bits and pieces. And in some cases, I do actually edit out repeated failure, so yeah, make it easier to look at.
And at that, if at any point anyone just wants to talk to me, mention something, usually available on Discord and Twitter, Sage of Magi. I, I write on occasions, draw as well. That ends up getting posted on DeviantArt for the most part. There, are except there is one exception to that, and that is anything specifically related to Project Remem or Rakens Memoria. That's like a going on its own injure finger that I'm just not going to link or bring up, really. And any assets and resources for that game will be hosted on there. Otherwise, feel free to check out that little card game that I've wasted 13 months making. <laughs> and will potentially waste more time making too, because, let's face it, I want to make it somewhat decent and interesting and fun. You will need Tabletop Simulator to poke at it all. But with all things settled, I think it's about time I, like, return to the ether. No problem. Thanks for dropping by. And again, I'll look at it,